Hello everybody and welcome to <coughs> hole number 9 of the Eagle Peak in the Fall Major Tournament. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. Let's go! As always we end up with a very tough par 5. Here I do suggest first and foremost that you play with a power 3 ball. You do need distance. Which is going to be a Titan or a Kingmaker. I'm going to take a Titan myself. And I'm going to go with the max topspin and max sidespin, but I'm not going to play left. You're going to see my approach and I'm actually going to go for the rough bump. And why do I play the rough bump? It's because this fairway on the right is going to be very tough to just bounce on to let the ball roll and stay on. Then I'm going to use the rough to have a more a shot that is more controlled when with the first bounce that we're not going to get that much speed. We do need to add for elevation, so we're going to add 10% for elevation if we're going to play on the right side. If we're going to play on the left side, as I sh uh, was pointing at from the beginning, then we're not going to add anything for elevation. That is very important to have in mind, as we are playing more straightforward here on the left, and we're playing more downhill to the right. The quarterback is definitely the wrong club here, because if we're going to play left side in any form, then we do need to have a club that either, like the big topper, gives us a tremendous amount of topspin so we can go past all the trees that we do have on the right, so we do have an open shot towards the pin, or we're going to find ourselves with an extra mile uh, and a power three ball trying to gain some distance with that type of approach as well. If we're having crosswind or headwind, I would go right side every single time. With tailwind, I might would consider playing on the left, as you can see, this is a position we don't want to end up with. Sure, we might be will be able to play over the trees on the on the furthest part there on on the tree line. But look at this open shot that we're having here. This is going to be so much easier for us to play with. Uh, now I'm using a little bit more than one bar of top spin. I would suggest to play in this situation with two bars of top. Uh, sorry, with two and a half bar of top spin with crosswind, so we do not have to play with overpower. So a big dog here would be preferred, uh, as we do going to get more distance there. Now I'm going to have to go with overpower and with an approach towards the pin. An overpower is always going to be risky and we cannot expect us to hit perfect all the time. We do hit the spot that we want to, but we get pushed a little bit to the right. But in the end, we end up with a very close putt for the eagle. And as always, when it comes to hole number nine in tournaments, we are, and also in regular tour play, if we can secure the eagle, then we're going to definitely have an advantage over many of the opponents. Look how tough this shot is here from the side, especially with a, court, with a guardian with very little curl, with a ball with no side spin, and a big bunker uh, being there in our face. So if we're going to play left, again, I can't stress that enough, we need to gain more distance with our drive on the left side to be able to play this one in a good way. Now our opponent is going to uh, play himself with a good shot, but it's way risky and going to many times put in the bunker and now rolls into the rough here, but with the type of shot there, that, that is kind of all, it's almost the best wrestle from what could happen. Right side, the rough bump, 10% extra for our drive. Second shot, we're going to play it with 0% elevation, so we're not going to add or subtract anything. If you do have any questions about hole number 9, please let me know in the comment section below. We play from the front as well, which is rookie division. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the fall major tournament.